Hey guys, Jay here for more TOEFL reading practice. I hope your preparation's going well. Remember, if you need any help at any stage, do think about upgrading your account for tutorials and live classes, etc. Right, in this lesson, we're going to look at reading skill number nine, which is called simplify information. What I'm going to do in this lesson is help you to understand the question type and help you to learn how to answer it accurately, because that's what it's all about. In order to do that, I'm going to describe the task to you. I'm going to teach you a method and then give you the opportunity to practice for yourself. First of all, task description. Well, what you must do in this task is choose the sentence that expresses the same meaning as the highlighted sentence. I'll show you in a second. In other words, it must say the same thing, but in a different way. What do I mean by that? Well, here we go. The first thing you'll notice about this question type is that the sentence here is in bold text. It says, Earth is a target in a cosmic shooting gallery, subject to random violent events that were unsuspected a few decades ago. The question says this, which of the sentences below best summarizes the highlighted section of the passage? In other words, does this sentence say the same thing as this sentence? Does it say the same thing as this sentence? Does it say the same thing as this sentence? Or does this sentence say the same thing as that sentence there? Right. Because one of these sentences says the exact same thing in different words, three of them will say something slightly different or leave out important information. This is a bit of a tricky one. So step one, read the prompt. Well, we know that now. Let's just read it again so you're really clear. Which of the sentences below best summarizes the highlighted section of the passage? Cool, fine. Now, step two, read the highlighted sentence in the passage and think about the meaning it expresses. Think about how you would rewrite it, for example. Let's read it. It says, Earth is a target in a cosmic shooting gallery, subject to random violent events that were unsuspected a few decades ago. Earth is a target in a cosmic shooting gallery, subject to random violent events that were unsuspected a few decades ago. How, what does that mean? What does that mean and how would you rewrite this if you were to rewrite it? I would say something like, okay, so Earth is bombarded by lots of meteors um, and, and people didn't realize this until a few, if, like 10, 20 years ago, something like that. Okay, that's my summary of it. Step three, read the answer options and eliminate, eliminate those that don't say the same thing. Okay, fine, let's have a look. Till recently, nobody realized that Earth is exposed to unpredictable violent impacts from space. Hmm, not bad. In the last few decades, the risk of random violent impacts from space has increased. I don't, didn't say anything about increasing. Since most violent events on Earth occur randomly, nobody can predict when or where they will happen. No, definitely not. A few decades ago, Earth became the target of random violent events originating in outer space. Mm, well, okay, I'm stuck between A and D, but there is a big difference between these two. Do you know the answer? Step four, choose the answer that reflects the same meaning. It is in fact A. I know this says a few decades ago, but this is relatively recently. Until recently, nobody realized, uh, it was unsuspected, nobody realized, that Earth is exposed to unpredictable violent impacts from space. In other words, it's a cosmic shooting gallery subject to violent events. So this says the same thing as this in different words. These say something different or they leave out critical information. Let's just look at D. A few decades ago, Earth became the target of random violent events originating in outer space. No, it's always been happening. It was unsuspected until a few decades ago. So this has changed it to mean something different. Right, I want you to do some practice because this is pretty tricky. And this sentence that you have to read is kind of big. Pause the video, give yourself a minute. I want you to find which of those answer options says the same thing as that bold sentence, but says it in different words. I'll see you in a few seconds. 
How did you go? Did you find the answer? I hope you did it because you do need to practice this stuff. It's not theory. You have to actually build those neurons in your brain. And in fact, this is about neurons in the brain. Let's have a look at it. Let's read this passage here, this sentence. Although we know that in the human brain there are about 100 billion neurons that communicate by means of electrical signals, the question of how our brain develop, develops rather, the ability to perform complex cognitive functions, such as those needed for language and reasoning, is a question researchers are not yet able to answer. Let's read here. The brain is a complex structure that is responsible for highly sophisticated cognitive functions such as language. It's missing a big part of this. Though we know that the brain performs complex functions such as language reasoning, we don't yet know how it does this. Hmm, I don't mind that one. Researchers are currently studying the link between the brain and language processing? No. The 100 billion neurons in the brain communicate by electrical signals to perform highly developed functions such as language. Well, it's also missing something quite critical. The answer is B. This sentence here says the same thing as this sentence here, but just in different words. Cool, how did you go? Listen, if you need help for TOEFL success, check out e2language.com. Live classes, tutorials, feedback on your speaking and writing, and loads of practice questions so you can walk in on test day, be confident, and get the score that you need. I'll see you soon.